looks like the media is finally starting to admit that we're right. Yo, the AAA aiming industry for players for arguing with greatest times in gaming, you know, there's a there's an incredible breadth of cross console choices handled PCs that made it more accessible. For gaming services like Xbox Game Pass and PlayStation Plus, from an industry perspective, cranes could not be more dire. More and more studios seem to be studios, original IPs are being scrapped mid development, vast reasons of game developers, programmers, RS have been cut loose. The AAA gaming industry, it's fine, you know, the indie gaming industry is thriving and booming. The AA gaming industry, which is what a lot of people refer to as the Subaru gaming industry, those are, those are doing just fine, but the AAA gaming industry has been doing poorly. Over the past two years, 23,000 jobs in the gaming industry were lost. With staggering 6,000 in 2024 alone, over 30 game development studios have ceased operations, including Arcane, Austin, Fluorescent, and Firewalk Studios. What's worse? And so these signs are continuing to go. Oh yes, I wonder why. Uh, you know, maybe it's a scroll street baby ink. I think if we really want to save the AAA gaming industry, we need to quote Street Baby Inc., a company that no one likes. Okay, we need to quote Street Baby Inc., and yeah, that's how it should be. Okay, but I'm surprised that Street Baby Inc. has not been closed yet, but with the COVID pandemic and bar bar generating issues with the AAA gaming bar project bubble, the average budget was 50 to 150 million. Um, Average budget now is two hundred million dollars. The quality of budget market is three hundred million. Activism means that competition market that it takes effort to, for one one and a half years to complete the annual Call of Duty title. It's far from Call of Duty, you know. For example, a game like Concord costs four hundred million dollars to make, but the same CMA report anonymous for published reports the game for some franchises reaches around six hundred sixty million, five hundred fifty million on advertising costs, and so around one point two billion dollars. Okay. For the last year, only achieved free billion. It took 12 years of the release that figure having launched in 2021. So the same problem has been happening in Hollywood as well. You know, like, why do some of these movies cost so much? When Godzilla Minus One costed nothing to make and looks better than most Hollywood movies. Okay, like, Godzilla looks like it, was, it, looks like it could be an actual movie that happened. Like, if you saw someone in the movie without any context, hey, this is like, and right before, you know, Godzilla was created, it showed them to footage of the movie and say, hey, look, there was this giant monster destroying the city. Uh, you know, people could actually take that as a real thing. With Marvel movies, it's pretty hard because the, the CTI looks so fake in those movies. Okay, yet those movies cost $200 million to make. But Godzilla cost them nothing to make. Okay. The reality of these budget means publishing houses are massively overstretched and now that's we facing the consequences if the developers use products as they make money immediately they must die. Sega so Sci-Fi Studios hyenas as in creative development for seven years and it was cancelled. Okay. The reason because they couldn't make it back money and it's very very similar. Okay. RC was going to be the first studios you know given the market's world for Minecraft and Rust the gave it titan worth Actually made raids, but when I this project was destroyed, staffed it down as well. Yeah, you know, but and of course, we would engage of new anything of new of original. Okay, perhaps more risk ever for well established safety barriers well known IP, so that you know that already exists. But with Sony's older catalog, we all know why Concord failed. Okay. We all know why Concord failed. I've talked about it multiple times. Okay. Concord failed. Because people didn't like the character designs of the game. People didn't like the fact that these character designs were created by like Street Baby Yank. Okay. That's the reason why a lot of these new IPs continue to not sell. It's because you take stuff from like. Gear Industry has always done well with new IPs. In the games are example of this. There are tons of very successful new indie games that come out. Okay. You know. Like, very recently. You know, you had Black Myth Wukong. I don't know what to say. Uh, that is based off a Japanese Chinese story. But Power World is an indie game. Okay. That did pretty well. Okay. Of course, they already know that, the success of that game. Because it's not a real game. It's an indie game to them. Okay. But the game game market changed forever because of the rivals of its market. New real games that have to compete with the new rivals. And, uh, oh, and yeah, basically, 
The Vive Silver Spot Open only been dominated by games like Fortnite and GTA Online and even games like Overwatch and even like TF2. Okay. Which could technically be considered a Vive Silver's game too, but TF2 doesn't is mostly for like costumes and skins. Same thing of even over I think Overwatch 2 as well. But and Fortnite, but Car Coolers Fireworks first game in as baby in many ways. Places in this report we believe they had the next Star Wars esque fast race franchises. Well, we all know what happened to Concord. Do we have to explain why Concord failed? Okay. Let's take another similar disaster play the Diablo free of the early phase of a men's play the game unplayable here. But Diablo Free's reputation was mostly the first, but rather than the Blizzard does repair the game. And yeah. And Save Vegas Cyberpunk 2077, another game that has did play poorly at the very beginning, but one back, it's, you know, fandom. Okay. But it seems that we were right all along. Okay. Here. Okay. And yeah, it, it, Triple Gaming Industry has completely failed. It has completely flopped. Okay. I think if we really want to save the gaming industry, listen to what I have to say. Right here, game developers, if there are any watching. Reduce the budget of our video games. Same thing applies to Hollywood movies as well. Okay? Reduce the budget. And no CBB Inc. That's simple. That's all we have to do. And it's just that simple. Okay? No woke. And no high, extremely high budgets. And when you know the game's going to sell very well, like Call of Duty or something. With a new IP, keep the budget low. Because... New IP is basically you're taking a risk. Okay. But yep, that's my thing about this video here. Goodbye.